need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. A mailbox rule simply states that whenever items arrive into a mailbox that meet a specified criteria, they should then be processed by whatever the rule dictates should happen when an item of that type is received. You can have multiple rules applied to a single mailbox. The rules will be acted upon in sequence from top to bottom through the list of rules created for the mailbox. They can also be modified at a later date or deleted if they no longer apply. You can also turn them on and off without having to delete and recreate them. To create a mailbox rule, first select the mailbox folder for which you would like to create a rule. You can then start the rules wizard to assist you in creating the necessary rule criteria and actions that you want the rule to perform when an item is received in the mailbox that matches the specified criteria. To access the wizard in Outlook 2013 through 2010, click the Rules button that appears in the Move button group on the Home tab in the ribbon, and then select the Manage Rules and Alerts command in the drop-down menu. To access this wizard in Outlook 2007, select Tools and then Rules and Alerts from the menu bar. In either version, the Rules and Alerts dialog box will then appear. Ensure that you're viewing the Email Rules tab, and then click the New Rule button in the upper left corner of that tab to launch the Rules Wizard. In the Rules Wizard, you will need to select one of the templates from the list shown in the Step 1 Select a Template area. The Rule Description will then appear in the Step 2 Edit the Rule Description area at the bottom of the dialog box with hyperlinks indicating the places that you need to click into and fill in the blanks within the rule template. When you're finished on this screen, click Next to continue. In the next screen, you can use the Step 1 Select Conditions list at the top to check various criteria that you will see appended to the rule that appears below. If you started from a template, some of this is already done, but you can add additional criteria if needed. Then click on any blue hyperlinks in the rule at the bottom of the dialog box to fill in the blanks in the rule. Then click Next to continue when you're ready. In the next screen you must decide what action the rule should take when it receives an item that matches the criteria that you just set. You can check the actions listed at the top of the dialog box to append them to the rule that appears at the bottom of the dialog box. Then click the blue hyperlinks in the bottom box to fill in the blanks in the rule. Then click Next when you're ready to continue. In the next screen, you must decide what exceptions to the rule exist. You can check the exceptions listed at the top of the dialog box to append them to the rule at the bottom of the dialog box. Then click any blue hyperlinks in the bottom box to fill in the blanks in the rule. Then click Next when you're ready to continue. In the last screen, type a name for the rule into the text box at the top of the dialog box. You can also check or uncheck the two check boxes for Run this rule now on messages already in the selected folder or simply turn on this rule. When you're ready to finish the rule, click the Finish button. This will drop you back off in the Rules and Alerts dialog box on the Email Rules tab. Note that like Folder Rules, you can check or uncheck the rules listed here to turn them on or off. You can also use the Change Rule drop-down that appears at the top of the dialog box to edit a selected rule at a later point in time if needed. You can also click the delete button to delete a selected rule if necessary. When you're finished, click OK to set any email rules you've applied. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more 
at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.